Welcome back to PSC Stack Bytes. Today we are going to talk about how we can share files in Power Automate using the native actions as well as Microsoft Graph. In fact, out of the box in Power Automate, you can quite easily share a file which is stored in OneDrive for Business or SharePoint Online. However, the native action is quite limited from a functionalities point of view. And if you want to do more, like for example, sharing a link uh, which does not allow to download the file, or if you want to send a notification email to the recipients of the sharing link or stuff like that, you will need to use the beta endpoint of Microsoft Graph. As such, today I want to show you how to do that in practice. So, uh, let's assume that we have a file stored in SharePoint Online that we want to share using a Power Automate flow. In this flow, which is a manually triggered one, I'm simply using the out-of-the-box action called Create Sharing Link for a file or folder, where I have to specify the target site from which I want to share the file, the library and the ID of the file. Indeed, in a real flow, you should get this information, for example, from the trigger action of the flow. And then when you uh, want to share a file with this action, you need to specify the type of link that you want to use. It can be view and edit or view only, or you can eventually provide a custom value. You can specify the link scope, which can be anyone with the link, including anonymous or people in your organization, or eventually you can provide a custom one as well. And you can eventually provide an expiration date and time for your link. That's the out of the box offering. It works pretty well, but it is quite limited, let me say, and mainly uh, targeting the uh, V1 endpoint of Microsoft Graph. Now, actually, in Microsoft Graph, we can also use the beta endpoint, as you can see right here. And for example, here I'm targeting exactly the file that I was showing you before. So this is the site ID of the site that I've been targeted, and this is the item ID. And with the create link endpoint, I can provide a request to get a specific link with blocks download. I want to specify a list of recipients for that link, and I want to send a notification to those recipients. And as you can see here, if I will execute this request, I will get back a response, which will give me information about the link, the fact that the link will be just for view and for anonymous, and that it will prevent download of the file. So let's do that in Power Automate. I will create a variable and initialize it with the value of a client secret that I want to use. And in a real business scenario, you should read the client secret, uh, for example, from the Azure Key Vault using a specific action that we have uh, in Power Automate. And then in the HTTP action, I simply uh, make a request for a <coughs> post targeting the URL that you saw before. I will provide a body of type uh, of content type application JSON. And then in the body, I'm going to provide exactly the same JSON as before. And again, here you can compose the content of your JSON dynamically using variables and uh, context information that you have in the flow. Then, like always, whenever you want to consume Microsoft Graph uh, via HTTP request inside a Power Automate flow, you have to specify the uh, authentication parameters to get an access token from Azure Active Directory. So here I say that I want to use open authorization through a a Azure Active Directory, and I have to specify the authority, the tenant ID and the client ID of an application that I have to register in my tenant, and then that I want to consume uh, HTTPS graphmicro.com. I will also provide the secret as the credential type and the actual value of my client secret. In order to do that, I need to have an application registered in Azure Active Directory, which will actually have the permission to manage the file. So it will be files.readwrite.all from an application permission point of view. So let me run this flow for the sake of testing it. I will start it manually, test. And as you can see, now that I'm going to run the flow, I can see that my flow got executed successfully. I was able to share the link using the out-of-the-box action, but I'm also able to share the link using my HTTP request and in the body of the output that I get back from my Graph, we can see that I have my sharing link with my URL and I can eventually copy it and show you the behavior. If I will go to another browser like this one in private, 
I can go here and show you that anonymously I'm able to see the document, but I'm not able to download the content of the document. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you. Thank <music> you.